Hello everyone, you're watching a Microsoft Quick Hit video, and today we're going to be talking about debugging your Azure websites using the Visual Studio Remote Debugger. My name is Alex McClure, and I'm a Senior Application Development Specialist here at Microsoft. My job is to identify the most significant and promising application development teams in Southern California and help them partner with Microsoft to develop the highest quality applica applications as quickly as possible across a variety of platforms. So for those of you who may not know what Azure Websites are, uh, Azure Websites is a fully managed platform as a service offering that enables you to build, deploy, and scale your enterprise-grade app enterprise -grade applications in seconds. This enables you to focus on your application code and then let Microsoft Azure take care of the infrastructure behind the scenes to enable you to scale and securely run your application. Azure Websites supports multiple languages, uh, JavaScript, Java, .NET, PHP. It enables you to automatically deploy and automatically scale your applications. And, and best of all, Azure Websites supports multiple environments, which means that you can push your websites into development, staging, pre-production, production, production etc. Uh, we call those slots. And it's very, very easy to move your application between the various environments. Um, but sometimes when you're building an Azure website, you want to debug that application or that website the same way that you would, say, a remote application. So the challenge is, how do you connect and how do you attach to the process? Uh, luckily, it's very easy to do using the Azure website's capability and Visual Studio uh, and Visual Studio's remote debugging. And so now I'm going to show you how to create a new Azure website and then go through the debugging process. So the first step is to create a new Azure website. There are a few ways that you can do this. I recommend going to File, New, Project, and we'll create a new web application. And then you want to host it in the cloud underneath the website option. Now, the reason I recommend taking this approach is because this is automatically going to configure the symbol information uh, configurations that you'll need in order to use the remote debugging correctly. I then select OK. Um, I finalize my Azure website configuration. I check it into source code control. And now Visual Studio and Azure are going to uh, create my Azure website for me. So the first thing that we'll need to do is add a little bit of code. Um, I'm going to create a web form. We'll call it default.aspx. And we'll create something here very, very simple. Okay, so I've created my web form. Now I need to add a little bit of the backend logic. So I'm going to open up the CS file. And when we click this button, we want the label to change. So we'll say this dot my label. Okay, so I've added the logic that I want. And now what I'm going to do is publish my website. To do that, I go to build, publish my application. I select next. And because we're interested in remote debugging, we're going to change the configuration to debug. We'll click Publish. 
And what Visual Studio is now doing is it's publishing um, my solution and my project up to Azure. And here's the website that we just built. Now, debugging isn't enabled yet, so as soon as I click this, we'll see that the button was pressed. And if we refresh, it goes back to normal. Okay, so I just walk you through the process of creating an Azure website. Now let's talk about how to debug this. So the first step that you'll want to take is to refresh your Azure websites. Now our website is called a web application 10. The next thing that you'll want to do is right click and go to attach debugger. Now what this is doing is it's attaching the debugger to the Azure website. But before we can properly debug, there's still one more step that we have to take. We have to attach the Visual Studio IDE to the process that the Azure website is running. Uh, luckily, that's very easy to do. The first thing you'll want to do is copy the URL of your web application. The next step is to go back to Visual Studio and we'll stop debugging for a second. You go to debug, attach to process. And you'll want to type in the URL to your Azure website. Uh, make sure that you don't include the HTTP in there. This comes up with a list of processes. You'll want to connect to w3wp.exe and then click on attach. Now what this is doing is it's loading and connecting the symbols with the debugging process and that's going to be important if you want to set breakpoints which is what we want to do here. So last step I s click, right click and go to attach debugger click me perfect so this is working just as it should but now let's say we want to actually debug so what we're going to do is go back to our CS file and let's add a breakpoint here. So now, for example, we'll want to uh, not execute this method um, without hitting this breakpoint. So we've set that breakpoint, and now if we go back to click me, what happened? Well, because these two are connected, Visual Studio knows to go back to the IDE before that uh, piece of server-side logic gets executed. So you'll see here we hit this breakpoint. Um, if we go back to Firefox, our browser, you'll see that uh, the label hasn't changed because this method hasn't executed yet. But as soon as we click continue, that's going to allow uh, the Azure website to finish executing that method. So that's remote debugging using Azure and Visual Studio. Uh, a few tips for getting started. Download Visual Studio 2013 Update 3 and install the latest Azure SDK. The second note here, I highly recommend going through this process for creating an Azure website rather than some alternatives. It's going to configure the symbol information for you the correct way. Um, debugging is really, really easy. You just have to make sure that when you configure your publishing settings, you're in debug mode rather than release mode. Um, make sure that you also attach to the process um, so that Visual Studio can be connected with the execution process on the server. 
If you want to learn a little bit more, I've included a few links here. Uh, the first link takes you to some information about Azure websites. Uh, the second is the Azure Tools for Visual Studio. And this tiny URL uh, is a deep dive introduction to remote debugging. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. My email address is alex.mcclure at microsoft.com. You can also view more information and resources like this one uh, by visiting my blog, which is microsoftappdev.com. Uh, if you have questions or if you and your team are interested in doing more with Microsoft Azure or Visual Studio, please do feel free to contact me. My team and I would be glad to help. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.